This video is in loving memory of Anderson. Ah, I'm just messing with y'all. I know everybody's really excited. We finally cut Anderson Verjao in place of D-League star Briante Weber. Undrafted out of VCU, 6'2", 170 pounds. Got a lot of spring to him, a lot of bounce. The highlight of his skills is his defense, his on-ball defense. Much like Pat McCaw, very quick hands. You see him dig. This is the same play, but then you see him get up and get this high off the backboard. Very springy guy, a lot of energy. But looking at his highlights, he brings a lot more to the table than just gambling steals and slam dunks. So I'm very excited to see what he can bring to the team. Here he is. So like I said, a lot of his steals that I saw came from the weak side kind of gambling plays. One thing I did notice is he doesn't get to, to the hoop to the left. When he goes left, he either looks to pass or pull up and shoot. But what I did like was his passing skills and his decision making in transition. It's a very rare to find a guy, particularly in the D League, who has a good mix of aggression and knowing when to pass the ball. You see him plant off two feet and finish with finesse. He can change speeds and he just did natural instincts in transition. There he is slowing down, taking his time, understanding he has time. Another rip on the ball and I love this play. Think about it, you're trying to show out in the D League. Now look at him kill clock here down to three seconds. The discipline it shows to make that decision is very impressive. Here he is against our Santa Cruz Warriors on ball defense, the Kyries, the Lillards, the Westbrooks of the world, not necessarily to stop them, but to wear them out a little bit. Now this may sound a little blasphemy, but the man's mechanics actually remind me of Steph Curry's. Another thing that I like is he steps to his shot. Every time he shoots off ball, he steps or hops into his shot. But look at the low trajectory and the quick release Dare I say, it reminds me a little of Steph. Look, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying he can knock it down like that. Mechanics wise, very similar though. But I'm glad that he can shoot off the ball. As you know, in our system, there's not a whole lot of dribbling that's gonna be going on. Take another look, hops into it, and that's well beyond the yard. But let's be honest, that's not his calling card. We didn't pick this guy up to shoot threes. It's nice that he can spread the floor I know the fans are excited about a dunker. We don't have a lot of a lot of high risers on the Warriors. He can get up at 6'2". He's got a 6'7 wingspan, but like I said, you see him go left there, he ends up finishing that, but he does not like to shoot. I didn't see him shoot with his left hand. There he is gambling again, getting out Tomahawk. So the NBA, what they're gonna do is they're gonna force him left all the time. That's, that's what I see in, uh, as a weakness in his game and he's gonna either pull up or pass the ball. Here he is finally going left and he still finishes with the right hand. But hey, everybody has weaknesses. And I'm sure all y'all probably saw that when you YouTube him, that's what comes up. So he plays with a certain amount of tenacity that you could just tell the kid has swagger. He ain't gonna be scared. He's played a few NBA games and he has confidence. I love this pass here. What I noticed was he drives, like I said, with the intent to pat, with the intentions of passing often. And you like that. It's not like he just passes because he has to. You see, there's a nice little cut, being patient. And then this could be a tough pass right there. He waits for the guy to fade to the corner and makes the right decision. Here's a good example of him knowing what he wants to do with the ball early. Right here, he knows he wants to drop this back, right? So part of being a good passer and playmaker is knowing what's gonna develop, and that's just a pretty no look behind the back pass for the finish. The kid's got a swagger to him, man. Then here he goes bursting, and another nice dish. Again, when he goes to the left, he's not looking to shoot. Here he is in Memphis in his NBA debut. And for whatever reason, I didn't see a lot of this in the D-League, but in the NBA game in Memphis system, he had a lot of off-the-dribble mid-range jumpers, but the confidence to take this, to step into the league and start hitting these was very impressive. And honestly, I'm surprised Memphis didn't keep him in their system because he, he's kind of a tenacious type of player, Tony Allen type of mindset. Surprised they didn't keep him around. So he had a couple jumpers in this game, and then now here he is curling one dribble pull-up and then take a look at this pass, I believe to Ryan Hollins coming up here. Again, this is something that you see developing before it happens. You don't just make that spur of the moment. And then he makes a huge steal to seal the deal in overtime. 
So I think this kid comes in ready to play. He's got a swagger, and I think we're gonna use him right away. Here you see him accepting his championship ring in the D-League, perhaps some foreshadowing later on this season. But what, you know, what I really love about the move is the Warriors have become much like the Spurs where when you bring a young player into our system, I feel like it accelerates their growth. You know, they said he could have went to Charlotte, he could have went to Miami. Coming into our system with our players and our coaching staff is really going to enable him to reach his full potential, and I expect him to contribute moving forward in this season. All right, so let's see. Hopefully he gets in the game tonight. Be sure to check out the video tomorrow. Hit that like, share, subscribe. I'm out, y'all.